musician first or an artist first? Well, I trained in art school, basically. And um, so I trained to be an artist. But what happened was uh, I, I got really bored with, with there wasn't enough movement and, um, and activity. So I started doing performance art in college. Was Gang Gang Dance the band that came after that? Um, well, I, yeah, I guess, yeah, Gang Gang started in 2002. We basically had to start writing songs because we got bored with you know, improvisation, which it can be really exciting improvisation, but, um, you know, we just got bored with it. So we started composing and that's where God's money came in to play. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I was in Angel Blood and Angel that's, Blood. that was with um, Rita Ackerman and Jeff Holsworth. But I had to choose because Gang Gang was, was really focusing on song structure and you know, um, like, you know, Josh was bringing back his, like, classical <laughs> expertise and I, you know, I had to stop traveling with Rita and doing art shows. I mean, nobody really knew what we were doing in Europe, Rita and I. We were, we, we did some amazing shit. We did this one performance in St. Gallen where we lit a pig's head on fire and <laughs> in the middle of the forest. And the cops came and shut us down and we were in the paper. I mean, the pig's head was already dead when we got it. And then we did another piece in Germany where um, we actually made a crucifix with our bodies on this table and Rita's dress caught on fire because <laughs> we had this amazing candelabra. Do you want to talk about your lyrics at all? Like where, like where they come from? Um, well, I'm a huge poetry buff. So I've been writing since, I don't know, since I can remember, and I have journals. I have about this many journals now filled with lyrics. A lot of, a lot of my lyrics, it, it's definite, it's, a, it's like a religious thing. <laughs> it's very spiritual <laughs> for me. My record's coming out, the next Gang Gang record, I think in November. So we've been working on that a lot. <laughs> I mean, like three years, you know, I haven't, um, it's been a long time since our record came out. And IUD, I have another band right now. It's called IUD. And it's me and Sadie, Alaska. <laughs> we're recording next month as well. IUD is kind of like everything that I don't get to do with Gang Gang because there's three other people in the band so there are other you know it's other like songs that I've written that I need to expose to the universe. <laughs> so a lot of your work now is collage based right and so yeah it's kind of um have you all and this stuff seems to be kind of collage based as well. Yeah, this is pretty collage based. Is that something you've always done? Yeah, I've always done it. I'm, a, I'm an archivist and collector of images. <laughs> when I travel, I collect things and it's a very natural kind of process, the art making. Like the last show that I did at James's, it was all collected stuff from, from the, the area. Like I didn't buy a single art supply because I'm against it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I bought this one thing to make this mold at Pearl Paint, and it was $125, and I was crazily disturbed by the fact that I bought that thing because I was like, I, 
it just killed me. Like, I didn't have money to eat, but I was buying this stuff, and, and it really upset me, so I took it back, and I bought, and I went out to eat. Um, the Breezes pieces are, the series is, is found posters from around the world, and I just altered them. It's all ceramic teeth that I made from a mold by hand. I'm really into my ceramic craft. They changed into like unibrows. It's, it's like hair. I work a lot with hair. I think that's my like 70s relationship to my work. But the, but hair, you know, it, has, it makes a lot of statements about appearance as well. So yeah, I like to play with those ideas. <laughs> the glow in the dark poster with um, like a mop. But the mop is placed as like, you know, woman's vagina. <laughs> and it's kind of like a, it's kind of also a statement about like bad hair dye and the punk days because I dyed it like red and it has like a really nice fade. <laughs> so it's kind of a, you know, statement on appearance and and um, that's the same thing with the braces pieces. And then there's another piece called Fun Bags, which is a sign that I saw on the street that I glued two penises directly on there and they look like breasts. It's glow in the dark as well. And it's a really funny piece because it actually moves like the penises like kind of like groove. Most of my pieces come to me in, in my dreams. I know that's kind of weird to say, but yeah, I just try to visualize my dreams. I made a birdhouse for humans and um, I was walking on Avenue C and there was these young kids like made a house for birds out of Tupperware. And um, I just felt really connected to that piece. I thought it was really beautiful. I, I wanted to recreate it for humans just to relate to the state of how things are right now, living in New York and how they have been the whole time we've been here. But I wanted to make a scene inside and it got really deranged. <laughs> Do you know that um, comedian David Copperfield? The magician? Yeah, the magician. <laughs> so I kind of, I didn't like him for some reason. And um, I found this picture of him in like an Iranian newspaper. You know, because sometimes you get bored with the, the American papers. So I kind of went around. I like to keep my work international. <laughs> <laughs> but, but so I saw this, um, I saw this, uh, this picture of him, so I blew it up, and I cut it in half, and he's making this horrible face, like holding his pants like out to here. So I decided to put people in the birdhouse that I didn't like, you know? I hung sliced meat by his face, like I just thought he was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And I put Jessica Alba in there too. You know, I made this situation like in there for kind of like, you know, things I despise.